Three people were killed when police fought with about 300 Terre Blanche supporters in the town of Ventersdorp. The arrests are a major blow to South Africa's white extremists, the police rounding up the entire leadership core of the AWB, the Africana resistance movement, which have been fighting against the government's democratic reforms. The charges arise out of violent clashes last August, when the AWB tried to prevent state president F.W. de Klerk from addressing a meeting in the Afrikaner stronghold of Centersdorp. Three AWB members died in an exchange of gunfire. The AWB claimed the police fired first. Among those arrested today were the movement's colorful leader, Eugene Terblanche, and its secretary general, Piet Rudolph. Both men have been at the forefront of the sometimes violent struggle for a white Boer homeland within a changing South Africa. In recent weeks, at least a dozen other AWB commandos have been arrested following a series of bomb attacks on public buildings and multiracial schools. The arrest of Ter Blanche and his inner circle five months after the Fentersdorp incident suggests a tough new line by Mr. de Klerk's government. It's clear they're now committed to cracking down on any extremist organizations who try to stand in the way of the transition to a non-racial government. Jeremy Thompson, ITN, South Africa. In which three people died. Mr. Ter Blanche's organization, the AWB, has threatened to use force to stop talks on a non-racial South Africa. Eugene Terra Blanche, in his own words, is preparing for war against the government of President de Klerk and what he calls the communist supporters of Nelson Mandela. His armed neo-Nazi movement, the AWB, march in the name of God, apartheid and the fatherland. This morning, having seen virtually the entire AWB leadership arrested in police raids at dawn, Terra Blanche was defiant. And I'm warning the South African police, if this is the way in which they will handle right-wing leaders in the future. They are heading for conflict, and they are, they are really heading for trouble. Terra Blanche's arrest follows running street battles six months ago in his hometown of Fentersdorp, which is Boer heartland. The violence on the day President de Klerk entered the town to address a public meeting on the need to abandon apartheid left three AWB members dead in a shootout with the police. This morning, President de Klerk, after meeting British Foreign Minister Linda Chalker, told me that the arrests were not political, and he wasn't intimidated by the AWB. Well, the government, through the security forces, will continue to maintain law and order without political bias. And we will also not allow ourselves to be threatened not to apply the law in a logical manner. Last month, Terra Blanche pledged he would resist political reform in South Africa if that meant black majority government. We are from fighting stock. We fought the Kosas and we fought the Zulus and we fought the British. That is all what we are. We are fighters. In his speeches, Eugene Terra Blanche sets out to be provocative. His followers may be small in number, but they're committed to the idea of defending a way of life that will have no place in the new South Africa. Therein lies the threat of the AWB. John Harrison, BBC News, Cape Town.